e-commerce is both energizing and disrupting U.S. retail in ways that have major implications for how goods are stored and moved in congested mega-regions across the country. In 2014, the U.S. had about $300 billion in e-commerce sales, an increase of 15% over the previous year. By contrast, bricks and mortar sales grew by just 4%. The upward trend in online sales will continue. To meet growing demand, e-retailers are opening distribution centers near large cities. Amazon.com's establishment of a key fulfillment center in Delaware is typical of the trend and helps locate Amazon close to consumers in heavily populated areas. In fact, most of Amazon's fulfillment centers are now within 200 miles of a major metropolitan area. The decision they made when they located here was they wanted to be in the Eastern Corridor, and we're talking about the market of Philadelphia, New York, and Washington metropolitan areas, and to have the access of 301, 95, and to be able to distribute from this existing facility was one of the big keys to selecting Middletown. It's a very key spot for them. They're able to service uh, their customers more quickly, and a lot more customers more quickly. The new normal is that consumers expect fast, low-cost delivery, even same-day delivery. This, in turn, increases demand for reliable and adaptable transportation infrastructure in mega-regions that is capable of handling more trucks and more parcel deliveries, often within time-critical delivery periods. In order to fulfill the same day, one day or less fulfillment, it requires the uh, a very strong infrastructure. You have to have the infrastructure, and if you have the ability to get it in the ground and have the infrastructure, that is what um, manufacturing companies, commercial companies want to see. Good transportation infrastructure has generated a huge economic benefit. For Delaware, it was a super win-win because they only committed to 859 jobs above what they already had here. And when we celebrated their anniversary a year later, they already had 1,600 full-time jobs here. And last December, we're employing over 2,600 people in that facility. The internet is not just redefining how commerce works. It is creating demand for transportation infrastructure that can handle the expedited delivery of goods in the most populated and congested regions of the country. And the payoff is a thriving economy.